What's up and good afternoon, guys. Um, sad day, sad day. Gonna be a happy day. Currently a sad day. I was just driving the gray OBS now and uh, she died on me at a stop sign. She fired right back up. I'm hoping it's just like a little oil sensor or something, which good news is we're actually gonna be doing an oil change on it later today. And the Denali, um, all the trucks are gonna get pretty much oil changes. They've been needing it. But the good news is I'm finally picking up something I've needed for longer than I needed an excavator. Are you putting your trash in the truck? No, I'm just checking. What are you doing? Really? What this is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You keep that out. Jerk. But it's all right, guys, because since we're going to pick up uh, a new trailer, we might as well take, you know, the big boy truck here. 450s are meant for towing. So today we're taking the F450 to go pick up my brand new trailer we just bought. What's up? Luxury. You want your massage? No. You don't want the Ford pokey in the butt massage seats? No. Oh, hold on. Pa Papa Rhino drives from like, oh my dude, God. Look, look at, I have zero headroom, by the way. And Papa Rhino is, he's as tall as me. He ain't, he ain't short, but he, my head is legitimately hitting the ceiling right now. Now y'all know, anytime I've ever bought something out of state, it has been an absolute nightmare to get it back into state. Well, we just literally worked a miracle in the last two days on this trailer purchase. Um, I'll explain how this whole thing came together. But right now we got to race over because we got to get it off the trailer that's bringing it. All right, y'all, we have arrived. Sketchy backlot deals. Woo, there she is. Oh, dude, this is going to be so sketchy. <laughs> I, I already don't like the method we're going to use to offload this thing. You sure about this? <laughs> I mean, I figured you always got a crew, so I figured it'd be two of us, we can make it work. All right, let's. The, the one day I'm rolling with the least amount of crew. If you guys want to start the forklift, lift it up a little bit, and I'll drive the truck really fast out of the bottom of it. You good with that? Huh? You go operate the forklift. <laughs> I'm going to operate the other forklift. You just got to lift it a little bit. I'll drop the We're decks. just going to go up high enough so he can pull nah, out. Nah, not even, dude. I'm going to drop the decks. Okay. Yeah, you don't even have to go up. All right. I mean, what could go wrong? This thing does not look balanced. You think you're gonna be uh, far forward enough? It's look, it's looking like it's front heavy. You gotta go lower to get the block out. Chris, you ready to be forklift off already? No. <laughs> All right. There goes nothing. Here you go, Chris. You got you, buddy. That's a good uh, first initiation for the trailer. What do you think, buddy? You know, I'm just glad to bring a real trailer into this yard over here. And I'll show these truckers, you know, the whole real load. Do we not realize that was happening? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Where'd be my spotter, Chris? I thought I was going forward a little bit there. Reverse, you like it? 
All right, y'all, so we're gonna go over the trailer in a second here, but let me tell you guys how we got this thing here. I found it online at a dealership in Texas for a really good price I couldn't pass up. I talked to the dealership and they're like, yeah, we could ship it out there, but it's gonna be a very expensive shipping fee. Um, I didn't like the quote that they gave me on shipping. So I'm like, yeah, all right, I'm gonna see if I can find somebody. So I reached out to our friend Lacey Blair to see if she had time to actually bring this thing out to California for us. And she was about to, but trying to find time and coordinate didn't end up working out. Then luckily, Chris happened to tell me our buddies over at Mac Auto Transport just happened to pick up two car haulers out in South Carolina and they're making their way back to California as we spoke. Placed a phone call to them and it just happened to work out right to where they were passing through Texas right at the time the closing of the trailer dealership. So that morning I purchased that trailer over the phone. The dealership Happy Trailer Sales in Amarillo, Texas. A huge thank you to them because they stayed open late to help these guys get that trailer on their trailer, trailer, trailer. There's gonna be a lot of trailers set in this video. So I'm gonna cut to a video of that right now. Now we're here in Mac Auto Transport's yards and you can see they got a bunch of their car haulers there, there, there. These are actually the homies that towed uh, my Denali out to SEMA 2016, 17, one of those SEMAs. And so this is the newest truck added to their fleet. They actually picked up two. There's another one right now, but they're running it out to uh, Las Vegas. They picked up a load on their way back. And of course, good thing, you know, we're certified clean idle over here. Clearly it still takes deaf fluid. They've got all the white staining of the deaf fluid to uh, proof to you that it does. Let's see what this thing looks like inside. I believe this is a 2015 or a 2017. One of them they got is a 2015, one's a 2017. Looking nice, we've got a whole head unit there. I don't know if that bunk's very big in the back there, but I guess in an emergency situation that bunk will work. What I like though is you actually have a back window. These things are a trip though, so I believe this is a 10 car hauler. Once they uh, go over the cab like that, that's what kind of separates you know, the big boys. So bringing two in that are full 10 car haulers are definitely gonna up the loads. And obviously you guys know, the more vehicles you can fit in one load, the more money you make. I do feel bad though, because there were those railings you can see that are up there. It did have some down here that they needed to cut off at the shop. You probably saw that in the video to be able to fit my trailer on top of here. So unfortunately they already had to make some modifications to this thing. Look at that, they coated the whole deck. That way it's all non-slip. Listen, man, I give huge props to all these guys that do car hauling. You've seen me and Chris actually do a video with Mac Auto Transport, uh, I believe at the beginning of this year or last year, where we went and helped them uh, unload a car show. And loading vehicles up on these things is super sketchy. And these guys do it so quick. I mean, I guess they're used to it, but one little false move or you ain't paying attention for a second and you're toast. All right, I'm gonna apologize for today's video being that the lighting is just absolutely horrible. It's kind of the worst time of the day to film anything. But we're gonna go get her all hitched up right now to the old 450. Now, if Papa Rhino wasn't like me, I'd actually be able to see the ball without the caution do not touch thing on there. <laughs> we can all watch Chris getting mad at how many times he's got to crank that handle right now. <laughs> hey, you got the cheap one, man. Why don't you, you get something that pushes the button and it goes off. Get it, Chris. Get it, Chris. It's your cardio right here. Look at it. Let a real trucker show you how to do it. There. You just got to lock it. There, man. Jeez. <laughs> we'll make it electric eventually. Look at this. We got a sweet blue freaking cable that's 45 feet long <laughs> we can hook up to the truck in front of us good lord you got this buddy all right oh come on man it goes in the little slot somehow keep going <laughs> you got this buddy oh oh oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey oh are you hiring <laughs> pretty sure fords have a thing to Trailer blind spot. We'll worry about that later. 
Okay, apparently it wants me. Add trailer. Okay, we're gonna call that trailer A. Do you want to set up a trailer blind spot? I don't know how to do this. Let's see what happens. Is the width less than nine feet and length less than 33 feet? Yes. Add trailer length. I don't really know how long it is. It's a 24 foot deck, but obviously with the tongue, I'm gonna guess. Cross trailer deactivated, trailer attached. All right, trailer backup set up now. We ain't gonna do that. Trailer options. I thought this thing had like a thing where it would go through all the lights. I'm pretty sure it does. Go back around here, see how this thing goes. We got Deck Over Brothers. We're Deck Over Brothers. That's, your, that's your, your younger brother. Oh, little brother? Of course, now that I have a Deck Over, we're gonna see Deck Overs everywhere, but you don't see Deck Overs in Southern California. Um, no dealerships around here have them, so I had to go kind of search out in uh, other states, and Texas seems like everybody's got a Deck Over, which they just make more sense. All right, well, we have made it back. This thing towed absolutely great. I mean, obviously with the, the 450, you barely know what's behind you, but so this is a 24 foot, PJ Deckover, uh, 14K rated, it's got two 7,000 pound axles. Again, I've been hunting for a trailer like this for a long time. I am dead set on wanting a Deckover, especially with our trucks with the big wide wheels and all that. I didn't want to have to deal with any type of wheel wells or fenders that you're going to worry about scratching your truck or you're going to have to drive over all awkwardly. To me, Deckover is the way to go. Plus, having the excavator and obviously more equipment that we're going to be getting in the future, this is just going to be the ideal setup. Now, the reason I went 24 foot instead of a 20 footer is I want 20 foot of clear deck space. And then you got the four foot dovetail here, which the dovetail again is rad because it makes obviously the loading angle a lot less steep. We went with the monster ramps, which I haven't even actually opened these things up. Assuming these boogers are spring loaded here. Oh yeah, look at that, nice and easy. Perfect to drive on up here. And they're super wide, so obviously any size, type of equipment, wheels, tires, tracks, whatever it may be, load them up super easy. There was another one of my big requirements was I needed a trailer that had the big wide ramps. Now I know, like trailer brands is gonna be the same as like Ford, Chevy, all that. Everybody I know personally that has owned a PJ trailer has absolutely loved it, so. Yeah, there's Diamond C, there's a few other brands out there. I've kind of looked at them all. The cool thing about these are, you got anything longer that you can't actually fold these ramps back up, is you can leave them in the 90 degree position right there, or a little bit less, and you just remove this bar, they put another attachment point right there, you attach this bar to here, and then you're good to go. But you do have your flat deck space here, so if you got something that you can pull forward and then back up onto the flat deck over here. Now clearly you can see, this thing actually does have a decent amount of lighting on it. I like the lights that they put on the front here too. That really helps you kind of figure out where the trailer is behind you when you're making turns. Especially where I live now, it's pitch black, there's not a whole lot of street lights. So being able to index your trailer um, by having these front lights is cool. Obviously the two side marker lights are, they're cool and all, but y'all know we're gonna take this to Sergio and we're gonna light this dang thing up like an absolute Christmas. There's a chance at some point we might put an electric tongue on here. Um, obviously we gotta get the spare tire, this one didn't come with the spare tire, but I got such a good deal on this trailer, I really could not pass it up. The tongues on these things are, are kind of massive. I don't think I was really anticipating the tongue being this big, but dude, there's plenty of room to put a toolbox, plus have open storage here to put chains or whatever, but they'll probably end up living in the toolbox. We got a lot of plans for this trailer. We're gonna do something cool that I don't see a lot of people do with trailers as well. Um, I don't wanna say that now, because somebody's gonna go do it before I do it, but the one thing I do wish it did have is uh, a couple more D-rings, but being that I didn't order this trailer um, and I didn't really have the patience or the time to want to order the trailer, 
we're just gonna have to adapt. We can always bolt on some D-rings or do something like that. I was at one point looking at aluminum trailers because you can have a 14K GBRW and then the trailer actually weighs less. So that gives you more of a payload capacity. But I am actually a big fan of wood decks. I know a lot of people aren't. Some people like the diamond plate deck. I like the wood deck. I think it looks cool. Um, I think we should stain this and finish with something cool. I know I think Mark Ticola did that to his trailer and it ended up looking really sick. So I think like a dark, deep red stain on this thing before we ever actually pull anything on this. I think that'll be cool. I've been needing a trailer forever. A lot of those times when I take my trucks to get worked on, it's two hours away. And I either got to drive up there, get a rental car back or vice versa. So I'd rather just have my own trailer to be able to just throw the truck on, take it, drop it off to go get worked on. And then, you know, just make life a little bit easier. Now that I got a ton of room to store a trailer. The only thing with a deck over though, is deck over is obviously the deck height is higher. So I guess your center of gravity is up a little bit higher, but factor that in. Now it's definitely a little nerve wracking buying something sight unseen. I've been seeming to do that a lot lately. I mean, obviously we got the fire truck right there that we bought sight unseen. This thing, uh, I'm very impressed. You know, I haven't seen, uh, haven't seen one of these monster wrap PJs in person yet. And everything on it looks great. The fit and finish looks great. The powder coat job looks great. The little pinstriping they do. Everything on this trailer looks absolutely awesome. Now we will get this trailer set up to tow. Um, most of my heavy towing is going to be done with my Denali. I mean, that's just a newer truck. The suspension, the airbag setup, everything like that. It's, it's really just built to tow, even though it was also built to show. The old gray truck, the crew cab OBS. We're going to make sure we dial that bugger in and it don't shut off on us while it's running before we start towing with that thing. I have towed uh empty equipment trailers with that truck i've never towed with a big heavy load on it and to everybody that says obs's are great workhorses and just like tow pigs those things are so slow and lack power i don't know how anybody tows anything big and heavy with them um i own a couple of them so it's not just like one truck that i have experience with speaking of the gray obs we need to drop this trailer now because we got to take that bad boy over to zach and hopefully have him diagnose what's wrong with uh <laughs> with the truck so it's no fun when you're driving and it just shuts off. All right, baby, fire up for us. So far, so good. Zach, I got you the good stuff, buddy. We good? We're gonna check the oil level in the OBS. This could go bad. Dude, I wish my truck made this much power. Your, your truck probably has oil in it. I'm willing to bet mine does. It does, because I just changed it. Yeah, Zach's got some, he's got some big money parts coming for his OBS. Right. Give me a rag, dude. We might not need it. No, there's some oil on it. All right. We'll clean her off here and see. Check her levels. Snow, can you Florida. taste this and let me know? <laughs> I drove it to Florida. Did you really lick that? Yeah, he did. <laughs> He's a couple weight. <laughs> All right. That was a full tongue load, bro. I appreciate the rag, Zach. I don't need it no more. I use Snow's tongue. <laughs> All right, okay. All right. We got Zach. <laughs> 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 Well, well, so I'm, so pretty, I'm pretty sure. What's a crate seven three go for these days? Well, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that works I on this truck, you, and I haven't changed the oil in it for about a year and a half. You've been slacking. <laughs> well, yeah, this one had a constant tiny little drop a day. It would leak, it's and like, I probably should have like topped the, it off. It's like the nice lady you find outside of a liquor store that you know she's had a hard run, so you got to make sure she's. She's good. But you're still willing to give her a go. Oh, but Ryan doesn't change his own oil. And you know why? Because Zach does it better. Back in the day, it was like, go drop it off at the shop. Zach would change all the fluids in it. Meanwhile, I'm over like making money. All right, let's find out. Now we're going to find out how much. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Snow, fire yourself up. Oh, Snow's got more oil in him from that lick than, than the truck's got in you need, it. You need to sound like Gunner, dude, because this she's star. It's rough, rough. Yeah, oh. Gunner on his rope, dude. He's like, you know, one of these days we'll fix the oil leak in this thing, too. It looks like we're going to have to buy tools because yours leaks just like mine does. <laughs> I'm really scared right now. So it should be to about here if it was full. Okay. Ish, you know, give or take. But so let's see how much it actually fills up. <laughs> I'm just happy to see something in there. Oh, here, let me help you out. <laughs> I don't like when Zach looks at me like that. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, the comment section gonna be great on this one. Okay, That's why I buy extra 7.3s, I got parts trucks. Yeah, before anybody says it, I already told him like, the hell, dude. Here's the problem with having too many vehicles. You stop checking on any of them. <laughs> Not my proudest moment, not my proudest moment. But it is true, having so many vehicles, trying to keep up um, with my busy schedule, I'm constantly on the run. So like to have time to sit down, check the oil, take a minute, change the oil, all that. Like, these times are rare, look, it's I don't know, 11 o'clock at night. It's finally we're all at the shop. It's the time we can sit here and like maintain our trucks. So no. this truck takes 13 quarts. How many gallons is that? 
Three points. That looks like a, that looks like a gallon. How much came out of this truck? Less, yeah, less than two. <laughs> <laughs> hey Ryan, when I had my seven three, it, about every week I'd have to put about four quarts in it. But there was one week where I didn't put any oil in it, and when I went to put oil, it took about eight quarts. <laughs> <laughs> So you're oh, saying this is like normal. This is how you maintain a 7.3. Yeah. Yeah, just let it run yeah, you low. Got, you got to let it know it's living a good life. Yeah. So you, you, Sometimes you got to put it on the streets. Yeah. <laughs> no, these, these ones don't have poop on it. All right. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's, I run it on 2.8. I don't, I don't even remember what we put at 2.8. Yeah, the good well, thing about this is, have a yeah, Zach made me a legend here. Check this out. Wait, I don't know where it is. That well, there, there's our dyno numbers for this high horsepower machine. Dude, she makes a whole like 500 foot pounds of torque. I think my dyno numbers would be higher now with more oil in it. It probably make actual an 80 horse. Now. <laughs> it's not like 15 until it runs out of oil. Mine, mine takes 13, like on the dot. All right. You have three and a half gallons in there, so that's what, 14 quarts, and it's still about a quart, quart and a half low. <laughs> See, it's not my fault it was low. Mine just holds an exceptional amount. Right. So technically, it being low was still like more than most. Right. All right, y'all. Well, <laughs> the whole 7.3 here is back together. Um, probably gonna run it for another day or so before I commit to towing the new trailer with it. But hey, we got a brand new trailer today, so if this truck does blow up, we can tow it with the BBB, and we can take it wherever we need to do an engine swap, which will probably be my own shop. But with that, we're gonna wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. And don't forget to give this video a like and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best, I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.